We start off this video in a 2x1 I built 30 minutes prior to this moment on my solo duo 2x vanilla server which had just wiped about an hour ago. As most of you know, I usually play on my solo only server, but this time I wanted a change of pace. This, unlike my solo series split into 5 episodes or more, will be an entire wipe split into only 2 parts. If any of you are interested in checking out my solo duo 2x vanilla server, which holds great pop all wipe long, check out the information to join it below in the description. There's a problem. There's no recycler around this area, which makes my life a little hard. Honestly, I needed a recycler around here. I think this means that we need to go over to airfield or launch site. Or we can go down to water treatment. Hmm. I think we'll go over there. Relocating was necessary as to progress in this game, living in the middle of nowhere will do you no good. Little did I know, this area would later become heavily contested. Gotta say, I uh, much rather live around here than anywhere else because over here I'm not getting bombarded by duos left and right. And I don't like being on a mountain where everyone can see me. Okay, I need a sip of water for that one. I could have played that a whole lot better, obviously, but uh, sometimes you just gotta take what you got and leave with it. And that is what I'm doing. <laughs> At least I got two guns out of it. I, uh, I would have wanted to get my 50 scrap that I left in the recycler, as well as the loot from the guy I killed in that one bush, but yeah, didn't get it. Let's go back with a crossbow and a Nyoka. Before continuing this video, I need to tell you guys about a new server I'm releasing. This is something that I've been looking forward to releasing for a very long time now and have seen quite a few of you guys asking for this exact server. So I'm super excited to announce my new c and Blood Solo Duo Trio 2x Vanilla server, Thursday Wipes. Coming out this upcoming Force Wipe on Thursday the 3rd of December at around 2pm EST. This is perfect as recently I revamped the loot tables for all of my 2x servers, making them much more enjoyable to play on. Whether you have a full three-man team to play with or are a solo player looking for a challenge but at a slightly quicker pace, I'm sure you'll find the server to be a lot of fun and the perfect balance. There will be ranks on the server but only for skip queue as well as a few other perks such as skin box. So no, there won't be any kits or any kind of boosts like that, I can guarantee you that it's not gonna happen. I'll be giving away $50 in real money to three different people for its first 
Wipe, which I'm going to be playing on, by the way. All you got to do to enter is simply play on my solo duo trio server for a total of four hours or more, and you will automatically be entered to win. I'll be announcing the winners over on my server Discord at discord.gg slash cndrust the week after the wipe on the 10th of December. Right now, you can save and favorite my server by searching cndblood under the modded section. The IP to the server will be in the description as well if you'd like to save it for wipe day. Just paste this, which is in the description, into the F1 console and you'll be able to join. Now, this is only for NA, but I will have an EU version coming out two weeks later if all goes to plan and everything goes smoothly. Can't wait for its release on the 3rd of December and I hope to see a bunch of you guys there. Oh, I didn't make a bag. No way. I would have been able to kill them. Oh, I would have brought out my custom, but it's fine. We need to bring some stuff back from this place anyways. I bet that's their- oh, it is. It is their base. Okay. The plan to door camp my neighbors for my setback was a failure, so I brought my attention back to the guy that I killed earlier, but didn't loot. Ooh. And this changed my whole wipe. I'm just kidding. It was just a good find. All right, let's go recycle over at the water treatment. I would bring one of the SMGs, but I'm kind of waiting for some action to pop off around this area. That way I could just come out with it and try to make a play because uh, I would rather not lose it while I'm recycling in some awkward way. That's why I didn't want to bring over my custom. They're literally just sitting in there, I guess. Uh, I might as well go there with my custom in that case. All right, well, there goes my gun. Look at him. Look at this rat. Look at him, dude.
Metal pickaxe. I'm gonna go ahead and assume that dome is completely looted, but... Did that? Oh, I thought he dodged it. He was he just like literally AFK'd. Do I have the option of just running away here? Do you have any loot to drop? Uh, uh no, I literally just ran into my base naked. I was gonna climb dome and loot it. I just started on the Alright, just run away. I love how I haven't played on this server in over a year, so no one really knows how I sound like when I try to disguise my voice. Works perfect for me. Wait, what is this? Why? I don't get it. Is that a bug? I'm gonna go to airfield to recycle that. Okay, that's ridiculous. All right, well, I'm not sure how I ended up with 500 scrap from uh, what I just found, but that is pretty incredible. Never saw that airdrop. If I only had seen it way before, I would have been able to get it, because I don't think I'm going to be able to get this. We'll go for it anyways. I'm sure it'll get taken, but maybe we can see what's up. He's coming out. We actually really need that too. Whew, all right, this is uh, Max Pop as well, which is why it's uh, so scary, but I got it. Very cool. 46. Incendiary shells. You have to be kidding me. That's that's a couple TCs and wooden doors right there, I think. Maybe not a couple wooden doors, but it's definitely a couple TCs. After researching a couple of items, I went out to farm as much resources as I could to then begin building my main base. I think that's enough. Alright, I kind of like what's going on over here. All of these are going to be garage doors whenever we have enough gears for that. Once finishing the first floor to my new main base, I transferred some loot over from my 2x1 and carried on finishing up the second floor. Alright, listen, this might be a disaster. But it's my disaster and I'm proud of it. So what I'm thinking of doing is adding two loot rooms, one here and right there. And then over here, 
maybe a loot room as well just because i like a lot of loot room but i'm also considering adding one of those the tea tables or whatever just so i can make some tea but i'm gonna leave this empty for now until i figure it out and then over here this is gonna be a loot room and then this is gonna be a loot room as well the problem is both loot rooms here and here are on top of each other so obviously a very easy raid a very very easy raid with that out of the way i'm now ready to head out and pvp for a bit who's this guy I see him. Oh my god. Doesn't look like anyone's going for it. Oh ho ho ho. Okay. I can dig that. I have to go on some heavy scrap runs in a moment here. This is an insane find. I'm gonna keep this for researching, and we do have a jacket to research as well from the uh, two by one, so that is very nice. Then I'm gonna go out with a flashlight and look for some people until the morning. It appears we do not have a flashlight, actually. Well, um, I'm gonna go out anyways. Oh, I was going to say, considering it's so dark, I think I'm just going to stay inside because I can't even see anything or where I'm shooting, but kind of glad I got out, even though it was a struggle to kill that guy. Uh, well, that's our stone. We don't really need to go out to farm anymore, I don't think. All right, so... Eventually, when we research this ladder hatch, I'm going to add another one over here, so we will have to pick it, but that is okay. And I will not finish this until we need more loot room. So let's see how our base looks like from up here. <laughs> Probably not great. Uh, yeah, not great, but I I'm happy with it. I mean, we have four... Or five even loot rooms, which is good enough for me. And eventually I'm gonna have a third floor for like shooting people on the roof or something. I don't know, whatever people do for third floors. Mm, didn't think he whipped out a gun. His red really blended in with those leaves. Well, last gun it is. How oh, is he not dead?
Someone's already there. It's definitely going to be looted. That was so unfortunate. That was so much loot. Mm. GG, I guess. Well, I'm going to call that a day because there's not much else I can really do besides bring out my AK or Bull T, which I am not going to do. So, but uh, I'm excited to get back on, farm up some scrap so that we can research that uh, AK. Hopefully get a tier three so we can go around and PVP with it. It would appear I had a weapon this entire time. Looks like we have a new neighbor. I got him. Dude, HV bullets with the revolver is surprisingly really good. <laughs> that almost felt like a SAR for a second. Yeah. Right, let me go grab it. I was actually planning on raiding that guy. some stone or what sure yeah fair enough I appreciate it all right well I guess we have a neighbor now slightly scary but whatever still in need of scrap I headed over to launch site in hopes to catch someone recycling for quick and easy scrap I can't, like, express the frustration I have for Bradley. Can't believe in 2020, it's still shooting through walls. Like, that's insane. Hopefully in about four years from now, Russ will have finally fixed the launch site and Bradley shooting through walls infinitely. If someone actually sleeps in there, it will literally shoot until an admin comes in and deletes Bradley, which is absurd. After that amazing time at launch site, I decided to grab all of the components that I didn't need to then bring it over to a recycler where I can turn it into some resources and scrap. Alright, we are ready. 
Hopefully we can actually get some stuff done because ooh, I need some heals. Let's go see if our friend over here has expanded at all. And uh, we also have another person we need to look at. This guy, yeah, he's expanded quite a bit. He did say he had all the BPs if I wanted to trade, so I feel like he'll probably avoid raiding me. But we got this guy up here who has expanded quite a bit. I have to say this area is definitely not the best place to be at when it comes to farming components. What's happening over here? They're fighting someone up that hill. It's two of them. Hit him once. Let's go bring back one of those crossbows. I think I know a better place for me to go recycle. I kind of like airfield. We would have to head out like this to be safe and then come back this way as well. Because over here there's nobody. Um, well, unless there's some new bases there. But for the most part, it is pretty empty. So if we go around like this, it should be pretty good. You know, I do see that there is bandit camp that I could go to, which is right over here. Obviously safer than airfield, but I really wanted to get some more components, not just to have this row of components. That's why I want to go down to lighthouse. That way I can farm up a little bit more stuff around junkyard or something like that. We can even recycle at junkyard. We'll, we'll hang around this area, I think, for a little bit. It seems like a prim area. just happened all right forget recycling the rest I'm gonna bring this back before star guys come over and murder me so how did he get there I did not I I really did not expect that at all uh, he just kind of popped out of nowhere Only 120 more scrap to go and then we're gonna have enough to research this and then I'm gonna work for that tier 2 get that tier 3 and uh, we'll go out with AK pretty much as soon as we can oh honestly I really wouldn't mind checking that out See a guy to my left. There are very few bases around here, and I only see one big base that could potentially be the Raider. Here's someone jumping. Oh, he's jumping in this base. This could be the raider. Good enough for now. I really wanted a mixing table. I don't know how you can get one or if you need a BP for it. I'm just going to take that and run back to base with it because, like I said, I really wanted one and we finally got one. So let's come back. I, uh, I really want to come back. I know where their statues are as well. So, see, so yeah, I wanted to place this thing like right here where this workbench is. Um,. This thing is way bigger than I thought, not gonna lie. We'd have to move some things around. We'll do this later. 
All right, let's go back though. even closer oh we can Ooh. interesting well I think it's clear to say that they did rate it Okay, so they're done here, it looks like. Uh-oh. We may have a little bit of a problem. Oh, wait. Uh, what's the... Is it this? Oh! Okay, so I know about this due to some comments from one of my Catching Hackers videos. People were telling me that you can just jump over a TC by typing this command. Uh, I didn't know it was 55. I don't know if that's the most you can do. But there you go, dude. If you ever get stuck and all there is is a TC for you to get out and you're missing five wood to build stairs, well, there you go. That's how you can do it. Once I was back at the base, I ended up getting off for about two hours. Once back on, I heard a minicopter outside and it was just kind of staying in the same area. So I went over to check it out. I had been wanting a better weapon than a revolver for a while now, so this was an opportunity I didn't want to miss. I hit him four times. At this stage, I started getting desperate, so I brought out my AK, the only weapon I knew that I could kill him with, in hopes to bring back a better weapon and some good gear to research. If I lose my only AK, it'll be a huge setback. Fortunately, I made it back with my AK, as well as another weapon which I can then use in the next episode. This is the first of two episodes. I hope you guys did go on to enjoy this video. Be sure to check out my solo duo trio server, which comes out this upcoming force wipe on the 3rd of December. I'll be playing on there recording. It's going to be a lot of fun. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And that's it. Peace.